Erev Tov, we are so excited you're all here with us to celebrate as we kick off our 25th remarkable year. I am Flora Oinik, coming to you from Sarasota, Florida. My family has been involved with Ramada Rom for so many years. My daughter has been a camper and on staff, and I am a past member of the board of directors. I have the privilege of chairing the 25th year of celebrations, and I am delighted to co-host this remarkable night with Jennifer Spielman. Hi, everyone. I'm Jennifer Spielman from Atlanta, Georgia. As founders, my family has been part of Ramada Rome since before it even began. I have been a camper on staff at camp and Camp Yofi, attended Passover and retreat programs, and recently helped launch the Camp Ramadaram Alumni Association. It is both a treat and an honor to co-host this evening's celebration with Flora and welcome you all to this remarkable night. Now that you know who we are, let's take a moment to see which parts of Ramadaram you all represent. We're going to try something together that takes great advantage of being on Zoom. Look at the bottom left corner of your screen where the camera icon reads, stop video. We're all going to darken our screens by tapping that icon. Please go ahead and tap stop video. Your screen should go dark. Now switch to gallery view. Okay, listen closely. If you were among our visionary leaders who supported Ramadaram since its earliest inception, Click to start your video. Keep your camera on. If you were part of the 1995 group who toured the Clayton, Georgia property, start your video now. If you were a Ramadaram camper or staff member the first summer of camp in 1997, tap your start video. Thank you for being pioneers. Leave your camera on. If you are a past or current member of the board of directors or community trustee, please turn on your video. If you are a past or current Camp Ramada Rome family, join the group, click on start video. If you are a past or current camp staff member, you know what to do. If you have experienced the awesomeness of Camp Yofi, Join the phone and start your video now. If you have participated in Passover, Family Camp, PJ Library, Limud, Jewish Women's Getaway, Elul, Solar Eclipse, Farm to Table, or any other retreat at Ramadaram over the last 25 years, turn on your videos. And if you dream of coming home to Ramadaram during this, our 25th year, please light up your screen. That was amazing. No matter when or how you came to Ramadaram, you are part of our family and have helped us reach this milestone. Thank you for joining us for an evening of Ruach, laughs, memories, and music. We begin with Havdala, that thousands of campers, staff, and retreat participants have shared at our campus bringing in a new week with joy. Now, grab your wine and spices, light your candles, and sing together with the voices of Ramad Aron.
My first summer at camp, I had an idea. What if we gathered as a machana to say goodbye to Shabbat at all camp Havdalah? Can we try it? Somehow I managed to convince folks that we should. And 25 years later, I think it went pretty well. I will never forget the amazing feeling as the barn doors opened on Saturday nights with the stars shining and the Ruach building and those first few notes ringing out into the air. I'm going to share Eliyahu Hanavi, the tune which comes from Calcutta, India, and I wrote the second part. Eliyahu Hanavi, Eliyahu Hanavi, Bimheira ve'avo eleinu imashiach ben David. Eliyahu Hanavi, Eliyahu Hanavi, Bimheira ve'avo eleinu
Shavua Tov. My name is Sharon Rosenfeld, and for the past 22 years, I've had the privilege of serving as Ramadaram's Director of Development. Over the past few months, we asked members of our community to reflect on what makes Ramadaram so special. The takeaway? We've all been enriched through our association with Ramadaram. In the next few minutes, we will share a remarkable video highlighting these conversations and taking us on a socially distanced trip down memory lane. Thank you to everyone who joined in our Zoom calls. Thank you to Ramad Rome's visionaries for your perseverance, hard work, and dedication. Thank you to our staff, many who have been part of Ramad Rome since its inception. And thank all of you for helping to create our incredible community over the past 25 years. None of this would have been possible without your continued support. And now let's enjoy this remarkable video. In the beginning, This will probably be the most important thing that the conservative community does in the South for the next hundred years. Happy, you, Lauren. Happy Hanukkah. Hey, everybody. Hi. The bar Torah time. Lauren's on the call. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Doing well. Good. Great. Hope you are too. First of all, Ramah had been so meaningful to me. I lived for the summers. You know, our motto was Ramah de Rome soon to be meant to me. And that rang very personally with me because I felt everything that I had learned and done sort of led to this point, to tremendous opportunity to make a dream come true. This idea of building something from scratch. I think we would all just gone back to our normal lives, but we were naive enough to have that dream and move it forward. I'm Jake Heyman from Pensacola, Florida. We needed to connect the dots between all the communities in the South. The South is one of the fastest growing Jewish populations. We need to produce future leaders and we need to breed them right here in the South. Hey guys, want to know how to have a great summer? One that's action packed and loads of fun? It's Camp Ramah and all that fun's just about to begin. The key was people connecting in other communities because it wasn't big Jewish communities. Having a camp in the South would make a big difference in terms of Jewish identity. A friend of mine said that Shelley Dorff was starting to stir things up. In 1993, Shelley said, we need to bring the region together. Well, how about a Camp Ramah in the South? Until 1996, there were six Camp Ramahs in the United States, one in Canada and one in Israel. Now, there's a brand new Camp Ramah here in the South. And that was just a, an epiphany. Several months later, we had that first meeting in Charlotte. That was the springboard. That meeting was the birth of, of Ramah Duran. Well, I got involved. I was inspired by building something that would have a generational effect for the Jewish communities. It was a new idea, a new thing. It was a camp with a philosophy, and people were very excited about it. The model was different in structure and finance and ownership, uh, and that's good but it didn't happen easily. Murray stood up and said, you know, we need to create a year-round retreat program. Zarek, I think, discovered the property in some biblical way. It was like Hashem talked to them and said, this is the property. Linda Walker, she really saw this as a people connecting mission and built the community. And I said, Linda, whatever it is, sign me up. I'm all in the opening ceremony for people to come up and look at it. Everybody is here to take a look for the first time of the beautiful facility. People are very excited about it. The shopping center north of Atlanta, getting on a bus and riding up to camp. And we got off the bus and it was meadow grass up to about here. I mean, it was a field. Frankly, it didn't matter what it looked like. 
It was that Ramah connection. Everybody seeing it and saying, this is God's country. There were so many hills. I was so out of breath. But I realized that Eric's ultimate plan was to make the healthiest Jewish kids in the in the Southeast. <laughs> and uh, it was beautiful. I mean, I remember it was like in the old days when people were having fundraisers, everyone would raise their hand, I'll give this, I'll give that. I am prepared to make a personal commitment of $25,000. Thank you. Bubba signed up. Nobody could compare to Bubba in terms of raising funds. And we were committing to opening the camp the following summer. Leonard spoke and said, no child will ever be denied entrance to camp because of money. So Leonard gave us $100,000. Baba increased fivefold. Chico is a very savvy businessman. And he said, look, having been on this site, heard your vision, and I'm giving more than Mr. Kaplan and Mr. Mitchell. So I'd like to solicit for another 750. We can do that. That's $3 million. He says there's an urgent call for Eric Singer. So of course, my heart dropped that he says, you got your camp, we just raised the $3 million. It was really a dramatic moment, emotional moment. Eric, what uh, kind of challenges do you face to make this Camp Ramon? Well, there are several. Raising the money was a miracle, but building that facility, getting it done in the amount of time we got it done in, I still, to this day, I'm not sure how the hell it happened. Regrading the roads, retrofitting all the cabins, the kosher dining hall, swimming pool, a new water system. To quote Eric Singer, I was hired because I was young and stupid and didn't know what I was getting myself into. <laughs> <laughs> In basically eight months, we designed, built, raised money for, found kids, found staff, and sort of designed a program it's our job to make sure we stay on track. This camp is for you, Machane Ramad Darom. I got a call saying, Lord, you have to come up here. You can't have staff with you. A week before camp was pouring rain and nothing was happening. There were no roads. There was no way it was going to be ready. And then miraculously, we walked out of the trailer and the skies became blue. Suddenly there was a rainbow the construction trucks start coming in and we worked around the clock the night before camp opened effie eric and i were in the deep end of the pool all kinds of garbage and junk were in the pool we needed to clean it out but the thing that i will never forget was the following morning the first bus load of kids came up And Eric and I looked for a tree to hide behind. We were so emotionally on a high. And the miracle is that 300 kids came to camp that summer, and all 300 went home emotionally better for the experience. I, I always talk about Ramat Jarom as a family. Sitting here, it's really like being back with family. And I think that as I see the pictures of our first campers getting married, having kids, now our early staff members coming back and taking leadership. What I saw that day is an institution and a, a family that has deeply touched the lives of so many Jews in the, in the South and has produced professional Jewish leaders, lay Jewish leaders, uh, and future generations of campers. A really amazing journey, a passion that's turned on now um, for well over 25 years. A Jewish community of our own making, Ramah and its ability to bring people together in a global village was so important. From the bottom of my heart, I want to thank all of you because you've changed a lot of lives. You've created an incredibly strong community throughout the Southeast and beyond. Lila Tov. Thank you. Lila uh, Tov, Lauren. Take care, everybody. Eli, Havivi, Havivi, Eli. I remember the day that they paved the roads and one of the kids was weeping the entire day because they ruined her camp by paving over the roads. Who would be nostalgic about the mud? <laughs> I, I mean, it was horrible that first I loved year. It. Sliding down the where the amphitheater is now to get actually down <laughs> to the to the Beidam. It just filled me up with such 
such pride. It's been really wonderful watching Rama grow. You know, we evolve as we need to, and paving of the roads is one piece of that, but there's a lot to it. Welcome to Ramadi Welcome to First Day Camp. We talk about the very first summer as a miracle of God, that people had a place to sleep, which was in question, a place to eat, which we didn't for the first few days. It was a total balagan and, you know, it's really a miracle. Those first few summers, I think one of the life skills that I learned the most was crisis management. Absolutely. It rained a lot and we learned that the key car is going to flood when it rains. Okay, that's very interesting. What are we going to do now? One thing after another was like, okay, how are we going to manage? I tell stories in my Hebrew school that I run now, stories that I developed over years of doing Harka Oat. Those are invaluable. You want to talk about an internship for life, deep impact for the sake of our students who are working for us. We equip them with the skills to ask questions and to listen and to observe. Learning to deal with kids and how to manage problems. You have people looking out for each other get outside themselves and really open up their hearts. Those skills that I learned at camp, I still use today. There's nothing better than the, the camp experience. One of the neatest things about Ramah Durum is that every year new, cool, exciting stuff will be added to make it fun for everyone. We continue to grow. We grew uh, in numbers, but also really grew in the depth of the experience. It really took our music program to the next level. There was a lot of responsibility on our shoulders when we made choices to do things a certain way. And we used to have the saying, you know, you do it once it's cool and twice it's a tradition. So everything from the camp song, which was the standard Ramah song until Joanna Tolkien um, changed it. Joanna was singing the Pete's Cooler on a new song and we had no idea what to do with it. And we all said, we should make up a dance to this. And we just started sort of lassoing around. And uh, I came back 15 years later to a camp of 800 kids. <laughs> lassoing around doing the same exact thing and so you don't even realize how great they become. Now you look at Habdala, which was nothing like uh, it is now. Nothing's better than Habdala. Totally. What does Ramad Darom do right with Habdala? The whole camp comes together. It is that shift from Shabbat into the rest of the week. There is this moment of community release where they can just be themselves. You felt part of something that was so much larger than yourself. I could just like go crazy at Habdala and dance with my friends and like not really care about literally anything else. It cannot be replicated anywhere else. It's just a stamp of the, the strength of the entire community. It's honestly beautiful because we all start with that one thing in common, that we're all Jewish. But every summer I feel more connected. I love being able to bring home new traditions. Ramah has been the basis for their Jewish identity. If I didn't go to camp, I wouldn't have met so many important people in my life. Hanging out with your friends, like playing cards, or literally anything. It makes the place feel like nothing else just because you're with those people. It is all coming back to relationships. You are in the bubble. You never want it to disappear or pop. Our friends would say, don't your kids get homesick? And I would say, no, they come home and they're camp sick. I remember vividly sitting down in my parents' kitchen and saying to them, that I want to pursue a career doing this. So from that moment on, it was all about how am I going to keep that camp spirit in my life? That utter joy that you feel when you are jumping out of your car or running off the bus and into the arms of people that feel like your brothers and sisters, and also the agony you feel when you say your goodbyes. It's not Jewish summer camp, it's Ramadaro. Yopi friends. So Hi, everybody. My favorite week of the year is Yopi. The summer of 2007, our first introduction to Ramad Rome was Camp Yofi. Our experience can be hard as parents of disabled kids. Yeah, we couldn't be with other families in the neighborhood. We had, we had nowhere to turn to. We were excluded other than Sue and Susan. I don't think anyone in the Southeast knew what autism was. The idea was sparked. What is the Jewish community doing for these families? And so that is how Yofi began. We get to this campus in some town called Clayton, Georgia. I remember the first 
year, I was actually a little overwhelmed. Like I just couldn't believe there was this Yofi family camp that we could go to. And I looked around and of course all I saw was forest and mountains and water and my first thought was to provide an environment of safety. The most vivid memory I have is when we were all along the lake. And all of a sudden you see this wall of counselors. And you have this wall of humans just standing there so we could relax for, for a few minutes. Everyone just like breathed and I just kept thinking like, wow, they get it. These people get us and we get them. It was so cathartic. My whole life was turned around in, in five days. There were so many moments where we were just thankful. And genuine people. There was no agenda. And Yofi absolutely um, changed our lives. To say that Yofi changed my life and my path would, it would be an understatement. My journey would be to help individuals with autism and individuals with special needs. After seeing so many children age out of Yofi, we saw the impact that it had on our campers. We knew that we had to find a way to create that within the whole Ramadza Rum community. Maya was, was finishing with, with Yopi. She'd been there since she was five. We started tossing around the idea to enable Yofi graduates to attend camp. I remember very well fighting for that. <laughs> Ramada Rome, that was always a goal for us to have Tikva. I just think it merged two communities that should have and always should be one community. We fully immerse our Tikva program kids within our camp. Campers see the value in each individual. Inclusion starts when the campers going into third grade and continues throughout all of the age out. Our vocational program that we just started last year. We're going to work one. Cafe. Ramada Rome. Sarah could experience Gesher. She could be a young sport captain. She could be on staff. They not only serve coffee to counselors, they also serve to all the ADAs. Sarah's a great example of someone that does an awesome job. Sarah, I have my order ready. Oh, okay, wait a minute. The self-esteem she's gained from this important job that she loves, she talks about it 11 months in advance. It's like, <laughs> I can't stop talking about it. The counselors and the friends, it's always to believe in yourself and you can do new things. The whole Camp Ramah community came together to allow someone like Maya to continue. 2021. 2021. When we look at the 25 years of Ramah Daro, Yofi, and Tikva, it's just a part of who we are. We just sing together for half an hour, and then it carries me through the year. Where the mountains touch the sky, I'm Yisrael El Chai. Yofi is the place for you and me. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Hello, friends. Hello. Hi. Hey. It is so good to see you. It was really the vision of the founders that Ramah would be much more than a camp, expanding the concept of Ramah to reach a, a much broader audience. I mean, we knew people wanted to come to Ramah to Rome and wanted an experience for Passover that wasn't formal. I, I don't want it to be an oppressive atmosphere, she says. The Rome is whatever you make it to be. They wanted it to be a fun place they could bring their children, or their parents, their extended families. So no matter who came to our door and came into our community, we always prided ourselves on having Southern hospitality. I agree with Fred. I think we might have a big family, but we have an even bigger Pesach family. When first open, we went to the Elu retreat that we had. We've been to a synagogue retreat. We've been to Farm to Table. PJ Library's going on. We've been there for the mood. It just keeps on expanding. Whichever one we go to, that feeling is there. It is a family. I met so many lifelong friends, wonderful people there. Some of them are right here on the Zoom right now. Then I learned about the Jewish Women's Getaway, and we've always just had a blast. It's always been a great way to connect with women from all sorts of communities. It's a space that I can just let go of everyday life be able to learn in a different way. One of the, the best things that Winterbreak Family Camp did 
was gave us a taste of what it meant to be a camper. As much as we go for our kids, we also go for ourselves. First of all, after being on staff, you can drink at the retreats. We got to experience Camp Rama and the community that it provides. One Lee Mood, I was sitting in a session and was like, you know, there was this guy that I saw that was like really cute. Like, I kind of want to know more about him. We started dating shortly after and two years later to the day, we got engaged at um, at Camp Rama. My, I met my wife there and, and we built a family and it's a very special place for both of us. Part of my community, they they set themselves in the Beit Midrash and sat there for hours upon hours and finding a renewed sense of self there, a Jewish self. We engage people Jewishly in a way that feels authentic, but actually leaves them understanding and learning more about the religion and about each other. We only spoke for maybe 20 minutes, and by the time we had finished our conversation, um, for the first time in my life, I knew that I had come home that I was Jewish enough to be Jewish, that my Judaism doesn't look like anybody else's, nor should it. Call a vote to Shannon for going through the journey that she has gone through. I would not have picked a better place to find Judaism than Ramad de Rome, honestly. Ramad de Rome um, is your home, and it's true because it rhymes, um, but it's, it's also true in general. They say that camp is the people, and that's very true, but at Ramad de Rome, there is something very special about the place. Agree with Eliana, the most spiritual place I've ever davened. You know, you feel God is the, God is over the water and, 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 you know, on the tree. And as I look behind Nor, the way that the mountains just form with the lake being there in the middle, I could see the parting of the Red Sea there. And it's a place where you can put your foot in the water and put your foot into a beautiful community. And all the wisdom of Judaism gets revealed. By being in that space, then the more you become part of it, the more you come to love being Jewish. There's something about the place that is just magical. It's the friends you make, truly. I have a whole new Ramah family that I never had before. And there's really nowhere else in the country you can see that come to life, that everybody feels so incredibly lucky to be surrounded by Jewish people. And that camp fills that identity, you know? They find comfort in that. They find a Jewish neshama. The shama, yeah. like, and once you get it at camp, you can take it anywhere you go. We have so much to be part of. We are leading the way. The other Jewish camps are looking to us. All roads lead to Jerome. And I think we realize that when you're a camper, you realize it when you're on staff, you realize it as a parent, you realize it at family camp, and generationally you realize that all roads lead to Jerome and they never stop leading there. Individuals who have influenced their families, who have influenced their community, step back and marvel at the transformative impact of Ramat de Rome. It's a miracle. Wow, wow, wow. All right, let me give everybody a moment to wipe those tears. That was an incredible video and special thanks to the immensely talented Ori Salzberg. So we will tell everyone I'm Wally Levitt. I have the great honor to serve as the CEO of Ramad Rome. And as you can see, I'm standing on the porch of the Levine Center at Ramad Rome. And you know I'm live because the Wi-Fi is unstable. So if I disappear, Ori, just go ahead and roll the other video. I also know you're jealous, but just to make you a little less jealous, it's only about 30 degrees here tonight. Thankfully, I'm a, I'm a hardy Canadian. I think I'll be okay. So I want to start my very brief remarks tonight by thanking all of you, our incredible Ramad Rom Kihila. As I was scrolling across the Zoom pages, it's truly heartwarming to see so many familiar faces, so many incredible people that have been part of Ramad Rom these last 25 years. We are indeed fortunate to have such a special community that loves Ramad Rom as much as we do. Thank you for being here tonight. I want to take the opportunity to thank all the visionaries who created Ramad Duram. You saw a few of our founders in the video, and we're pleased so many of them are here with us tonight, including Eric Singer, Effie Spielman, Gene Sachs, Shelley Dorf. Um, I saw Arlene Mitchell as I was uh, going through. Welcome. Nice to have you all here. And you know, Ramad Duram would not have been possible without the commitment of these visionaries and so many others who believed in the idea of creating a year-round home 
for Jews from across the Southeast. We are grateful to each and every one of you for your unwavering support these last 25 years. And we thank all of those who have served in key volunteer leadership roles over the years. I also have to thank our incredible staff at Ramad de Rome, current and past, who have worked tirelessly to ensure we always provide exceptional programs, programs that make you want to come back time and time again. In particular, thanks to Fred Levick, who was our CEO for 18 years, Rabbi Lauren Sykes and Jeff Mankiewicz, our first two camp directors, Sharon Rosenfeld, who you saw earlier, who has been leading our development efforts for so many years, and a special shout out to our current Ramad de Rome leadership team, Anna Serviansky, our new camp director and head of education for Ramad de Rome, Audra Kaplan, our associate camp director and head of community care and Tikva for Ramad de Rome, Eliana Leader, director of the Kaplan Mitchell Retreat Center, Jeff Wiener, our director of business operations, Susan Perlman, our controller, and of course, the one and only, our general manager, Uncle Anthony Franklin. So this afternoon, I took a leisurely Shabbat walk around our campus. And I noticed something for the first time. With the trees bare and the facility quiet, I noticed that you can actually see and hear the waterfall from almost every area on campus. Now there's good reason the waterfall is front and center in our logo and the first thing you see in our promotional videos. It's because to so many, the Ramadron waterfall brings an instant feeling of happiness, comfort, and safety. The rushing waters bring with them a rush of amazing memories. And for so many people, I'm sure many of them on this call, a hike to the waterfall is the first thing you do when you get to Ramadron. Because the moment you see and hear the Ramadron waterfall, you know you're home. So walking through camp this afternoon, hearing the sounds of the waterfall in the distance, I couldn't help but reflect on the incredible memories that have been made on these 185 acres at the end of Persimmon Road. In just 25 short years, so many lives have been touched, so many relationships have been built, so many people have been inspired, and so many Jewish leaders have emerged from our beautiful home in the mountains. It is truly humbling to have the opportunity to lead this amazing organization as we embark on the next 25. And in fact, just before COVID hit last spring, our board of directors approved a new strategic plan that outlines our goals for the next decade. And as part of that process, we articulated a new North Star that will guide our work, kind of a vision and mission combined. And the North Star starts with the following words. It starts with the words, Ramad de Rome inspires a lifelong love of Jewish values, tradition, and community. Truer words have never been spoken. Our new plan also outlines some big goals for the next decade, including greatly expanding the number of retreats we offer, increasing our focus on inclusion in all of our programs, updating, enhancing our beautiful campus, and making Ramad programs more affordable so that more people have the opportunity to experience camp or a Ramad experience or Ramad retreat. So last week, I actually led a Zoom conversation to discuss the future of Ramad with Elise Lipoff Mayor, our board president, Angela Cohen our, Cohen, our first vice president, and Ben Miller, our immediate past president. We talked about our exciting goals as we embark on the next 25 years at Ramad Rome. And so in a moment, I'll share a few highlights of that conversation. But first, I want to again say Todah Rabah. Thank you to all of you for being here tonight. Thank you for being part of this incredible community these last 25 years. We are indebted to each of you. We miss being with you. And we can't wait to be back together soon inside the gates of 70 to Rome Lane. So we just saw the incredible history and story of Ramad de Rome, and I know all of you have an incredible history with this organization. Tell us about your Ramad de Rome history. You know, as I continued to grow, Ramad continued to be part of my life. Ramad de Rome has been a place where I arrived as a high school graduate to be on Sevet, and has been a catalyst for creating uh, who I am today. The founders of Ramad de Rome were brilliant in their vision of what they wanted to create. How far we've come in 25 years because we don't sit and say we've done great because we have but we can still do more. I think what's most exciting about where we want to take it based on the strategic plan is really expanding the reach. It is 
you know, this magical secret that only so many people know about him. But everybody needs to show that commitment with their time and their resources to spread the word far and wide. I mean, there's the little things that I'm excited about personally, like new biking trails and maybe new cabins and more retreats, more campers, be more inclusive and to be more affordable. Thinking um, really intentionally about the space that we have and you Utilizing the resources. Agarum has been a leadership training program for 25 years. There is no doubt about it. Organizations throughout uh, the United States and potentially internationally could use our special place in Clayton, Georgia to facilitate leadership training. My wish for the next 25 years is that more people can experience it to discover what joyful Judaism is. How many new people we could bring into our community and bring into the to, to this special place. To think about the growth that the organization and so many individuals within it will have. Leaders that will be produced out of Garanim and Nitzanim and out of PJ Library and our Pesach retreat. It is, it's just so exciting.
Texas, Oklahoma is real, Tennessee was next is Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi, we be Ramadama, holler at me, say it with me, come on. For 25 years, we've been changing lives, every kite seeing great new strides. May camp's future be brilliant and bright. Wish a great Mazel Tov to all tonight. Wow, that was beautiful. Such a treat to experience so many of our Ramada Rome rock stars in one place. Thank you to all of you for bringing such an important piece of Ramada Rome home to us. We began this journey 25 years ago with a dream and a mission to instill a love of Judaism that would enhance our communities throughout the Southeast and ensure a strong Jewish future for generations to come. This past year and this night have made it clear that Ramad Arom is not only a place, it's a feeling, a connection, a community and a guiding light that every single one of us has touched and has been touched by. Thank you, Ramad de Rome, for allowing me to be a part of this amazing adventure. For the chance to be part of the lives of thousands of Jews across the South. For everything that you guys have done for me and my Jewish identity. Ramada Rome, it's something that really nurtures your body and your soul. Thank you, Ramada Rome, for the opportunity to be involved with something so much bigger than myself. For the opportunity to do this work. It was not work, it was work of love. And uh, thank you, Ramada Rome, for that. For creating a legacy. My Jewish community for saving our family's Jewish lives. For giving my children a Jewish uh, environment that they were unable to have at home. Thank you, Ramada Rome, for being the place where our family can learn about each other and grow. For helping me find myself, my family, and my community. For just giving me a place to be myself. So we can all truly be ourselves. For giving all of us a sacred space that we can all call our home away from home. Thank you for everything you've done for me and my family. For literally my entire family. Thank you, Ramad Garam, for introducing me to Rachel Knopf. For the lifelong friendships that I've created with so many other people who have been involved in this passion. For the relationships and friends who are like extended family. Thank you, Ramad Garam, for Camp Yofi. Thank you, Ramad Aram. For the opportunity for, to have a job. And for encouraging me to come home. For being my home. For being our family's Jewish home. For giving my husband a place to feel at home. Thank you to Ramad Aram. For helping me grow. For always pushing ourselves to grow and be as good as we can. For the most incredible people to work and learn from. For 
allowing me to have a career doing something I love. And inspiring us on a daily basis. For providing my kids with an incredible camp experience every summer. Thank you, Ramada Rome, for... Not just serving the kids, but the entire, entire community. Thank you, Ramad Jerome. For the future of the Jewish community and the Jewish people. For giving us a beautiful past, a magical present, and a truly hopeful future. For giving me something to deeply believe in and occupying my passions for almost three decades. And I'm so proud of this place. What started as just a job and has turned into a journey. Thank you, Ramad Jerome, for inviting me on this journey. It empowers people of all ages to embrace who they are. For inspiring so many of us to live joyfully Jewish lives. Thank you, Ramad Rome, for 25 years of building new relationships and helping build a legacy that will last a lifetime. And thank you for celebrating this remarkable night with us. Kola Kavod to all of you, our founders, our past, present, and future leadership, all the families who have entrusted Ramada Rome with your children, and all who have attended programs, spent holidays, and shared simchas with us. Kol hakavod to the staff, past and present, who come back home to Ramada Rome to pay it forward to the next generation. Thank you and kol hakavod to our incredible, beautiful community. So unique in perspective and from diverse backgrounds, we share a powerful connection through Ramad Arom. In a moment, please join us in making a Lachaim together. Afterward, you are welcome to stay and schmooze here or choose one of two breakout rooms, a virtual campfire with our Ramad Arom musicians or Rikud and Ruach dance and spirit with Geshir 2020. Now, we raise our glasses. Or your campfire mugs. Okay, you can now all unmute yourselves and join us in saying. For another 25 years.